The Smart TV is an exciting new type of television experience which brings together broadcast and internet content all through one screen and one interface. So you can just find whatever you want, whenever you want. It doesn't matter where the source of the content is. So we would have our traditional TV that we're all very used to. But let me take you to some of the exciting new developments, things like applications. So if I was to go into there, because this is actually internet connected, it gives us the capability to go to lots of various other applications that are currently on the internet. So there's lots of user generated content on things like uh, YouTube. Jux is uh, standing for your unique interactive experience. And what we were trying to achieve is to create a new TV experience for the, for the consumer. And that means that we have to bring uh, internet content to the TV, but also their personal content to the TV. And watching TV, what you normally do traditionally, uh, also should be possible. So basically it's the complete integration between web and television. Yeah, and, and with that, it also brings an application framework. So you can run apps on your TV. And so you can also point and click at pieces of video content and find more information. Or find out what a soundtrack is, or, or where a restaurant is. Things like this. So software applications on that platform really enable new usage models. We have developed a unique technology that enables people to interact with the television without a remote control. And we believe this is very important because the television is evolving in such a way in the connected home uh, world that people not only watch passive uh, movies but also want to interact with their television. And this technology allows them to do that. And you can read the information which is coming directly from the internet and you can continue watching the movie or uh, the TV channel you just uh, selected. It's very uh, important for the way we actually uh, interact with the TV. And we're doing this all with a remote control. This particular interface is called Lean Back, which means that you're not actually huddled over a PC watching the content. You're actually sitting back in an armchair uh, using a remote control with very simple navigation controls. So if I was to hit the arrow key here, you can see I can go through and I can search for content that I want to see. Or I can go down and I can just start browsing through to content through various... Uh, um, categories down the bottom. Gesture control for television, video games and other forms of uh, interactivity is becoming a very hot topic. We compare this to the evolution of the smartphone a few years ago when people introduced touch screens and those types of devices. We believe that television is the next frontier for those natural interfaces. So we see a very good future for this company and this market in general. This is certainly a good development for the industry. It, it, it could be comparable to what Apple is doing to the smartphone industry by enhancing the usability. Well, that's what's going on over here. Intel is very much an ingredient supplier, so we supply the silicon which enables these experiences. Um, very much so, as in the PC business, we, we put the processor in the box and the ecosystem revolves around that. That's what we're trying to do in the consumer electronics space as well. So we provide the processor which gives the performance, the 3D graphics, the applications frameworks, and the great TV quality, the pictures and the sound. And then we work with content providers and service providers to build that into a, a consumer proposition. There are so many uh, TVs in the market, especially the LCD TVs and plasma TVs. And this is just bringing uh, a new dimension in. So what we are basically saying, you can, well, say, let's say, pimp your TV by having these jukes uh, uh, at home. Companies like Google and Apple uh, making strides into the industry. I think those are factors that could uh, kickstart the, the, the movement and make it uh, not, not just a push movement from the industry, but also a pull movement from the consumer.